so messy around here. Hola YouTube, como esta? And welcome back to my Valkyries of Make Art. My name is AJ Torres. I'm a writer and hopefully someday soon, future author. In honor of Valentine's Day tomorrow, I thought I'd talk about romance. Oh ma, be still ma, beating hot. Wait a minute. Let's talk about the difference between romance and erotica instead. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, AJ, isn't romance and erotica the same thing? And my answer to that is, no, duh! Romance novels and erotica novels are two separate genres and books. Can you have romance and erotica novels? Yes. Can you have sex in romance novels? Also yes. But in your story, you are free to forgo one over the other. But! But, but, but. There are things you need to know about the genre of romance and the genre of erotica. The very point of romance novels is obviously to focus on the romance between two or more people that must have an emotionally satisfying and optimistic ending. The sole focus of romance novels is to focus on the love and trust between two or more people. You can write sex in your romance novels, but the sex is not the focus. The love between your characters is what is the focus of romance stories. Everything else is secondary. You can also write some struggles in your romance for your character's journey to achieving love if you want, but it all needs to work out in the end. Love conquers all, I suppose. The very point of erotic novels is obviously sex. Some of which can include a journey of the character's sexuality and experience with sex and discovering fetishes if you feel like you wish to write about specific sexual acts or just stick to plain old sex. Now, does this mean you need to have romance in your erotica novels? And the answer is no, you don't. The point of erotic novels is the sex. Everything else is secondary. Basically what I'm saying is you don't need sex to write a love story and you don't need love to write a sex story. You just need to understand what the focus of each genre is. Romance is about love while erotica is about, well, the sex. There are subgenres to go with both of these main genres, but you need to make sure that each of their respective points are at the forefront of your story while everything else is in the background. So you can make a romance fantasy novel where the main character needs to fight against an evil sorcerer bent on ruling the world. But remember, if romance is the main point of your story and the genre your story is in, then the love story needs to be the forefront. However, if the battle against the evil sorcerer is meant to be the main point of the story and the romance is actually in the background, then your story isn't romance. It's just fantasy with a romantic subplot. I think for another video I can do the difference between main plot and subplot, but right now we are only here to talk about romance and erotica. Another thing I'm sure some of you are wondering about romance and happy ending is, do you need to have a happy ending in your romance novels? And the answer to that is, yes, you really do. And I swear if another person brings up Romeo and Juliet, Y'all need to understand that the story of Romeo and Juliet is not a romance story. It is a tragedy that happens to feature romance. Any story that features romance but has no happily ever after with the two titular characters not ending up together is not a romance story. Happily Ever Afters have been a staple to the romance genre since 1740 with the book Pamela, or Virtue Rewarded, by Samuel Richardson. Another thing I'm trying to say is that romance novels is meant to be a celebration of falling in love, emotions, and commitment. If you don't have, I suppose, these core values, your story may not even be considered a romance story at all at least to the romance writers of America. Erotica, again, is just about the sexual journey the main character is going through. Dealing with their own desires, either discovering the more extreme fetishes that can be easily looked up to help reach the character's sexual ecstasy, or just vanilla sex. Note, if you do decide to look up some of these fetishes, uh, many of them can get really freaky. It's just fair warning. You know what? I think that's all I got for you today. I'm not a romance nor a rock writer, so please feel free to look up these respective genres to get a much better feel about them. Or just read more books in the genre to get a better idea of what they entail. If you like this video, then click that thumbs up button and scroll on down a bit and click that red box to subscribe to my channel. Followed by clicking on that bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload more videos. Also, please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. My Linktree link will be down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy reading and writing, and happy Valentine's Day if you care for that holiday. Bye bye!